two wide players either side. So they're trying to keep it fluid in that middle area. As the ball falls nicely to Mooney. Mooney looking in. Raymond's three in the box. There's a few players lining up. Pulls it back to Vigor. Vigor hits the crossbar. Raymond, great chance. And the Penalty. referee has pointed yeah. to the spot. Well, Raymond doesn't go down, but he's very clear that there was a foul on Raymond that stopped him playing the shot. And well, he's absolutely right. John. He's absolutely right. As he pulls the trigger on the uh, to have a shot, he hits the back of his leg. It's a question of does he impede him or does he just hit the back of his leg? Here, when you see this one now, there. Oh, yes. Definite penalty. So Jaden Raymond lines up and rolls it into the goal. Whitgift take the lead and an absolute stonewall penalty. They've all got little dancers these days. That was not the best dance we've seen. Some of the under 12s had <laughs> much better We could do better, better than that, couldn't we? You yeah, and I could do I better think, than that. I think so, yeah, yeah. We might have to do that. <laughs> so he just rolls it in penalty. casually, calmly, sends the keeper the wrong way. There you go. No problem. Baldwin, in fact, he's, he's used his body to draw the foul. Very different. That's the give and oh, go. This is a great ball. Here's a chance. James Sweet. And a sweet finish indeed. It's 2-0 to Whitgift. And what a ball that was from midfield. A real... Well, it was, a, it was almost like watching a chess game. It was sort of a unpicked the defence. And the, the run came from midfield with James Sweet. And he took the opportunity well. Whitgift lead 2-0. Yeah, lovely ball just here. There's the little set, the give, the go. That's a magnificent goal. Okay, so James Sweet makes it 2-0. Opportunity with a free yeah. kick. Yeah. That's what they've got to do more. For Crossley to chase onto. Crossley's really s opened up here. This is a great chance, great pace of Crossley and a great goal. That is a centre forward finish. And keep you back in this game. One attack and great individual skill from Kyle Crossley. Well, it's brilliant. I presume this is Liam Dunn who sweeps the ball out. But they haven't done this much. Great touch. You know, that's about that touch, that touch. And quite naturally about the finish across the goal. Retrieved well by Sweet. Oh, a lovely turn. Oh, Mooney. Brilliant. Mooney oh. again. Mooney again. Oh, can he go all the way? He's lined it up. Oh. And Blake will put it home. But it's superb skill from Fionn Mooney. When he received the ball, there was nothing on. And one sharp turn. We've seen that from him before. Yeah, I haven't really seen it in this game that much from Mooney. I think that's why Steve Kemble was down there in the first half, sort of trying to say to him to get on it more. Watch this turn. That's what makes this goal lovely. Gets away from the defender, an outstretched leg. Another one beats the keeper, gets the toe to, gets the fingertips to it, does brilliantly. And you have to say, that's very, very smart play from Thomas Blake to be on hand. He could... Roadworks, actually, it's probably works to stay. In. Here's, here's Raymond, unleashes a shot, chance on the edge of the box. Great save from the keeper. Blake's on the oh. edge, hits the, hits the post. Great save from Ben McDonald again, keeps his team in this match. Great goalkeeping, wasn't it? Burst through. You think the shot comes in. Defenders get in the way. Good save. And then you think he's parried it into the path of Blake. It's got so five minutes. Can they score twice in five? Aaron Robertson swings the ball across. Here's a chance oh. for Dunn. And Dunn has finished. What a finish that is. And now, well, KPO are going to get the ball as quickly as possible. They have five minutes to try and get another goal. A little bit silly stuff going on afterwards. We don't need to see this. And here's the replay, John. What a finish this is from Dunn. Well, I thought they needed to score five minutes ago. They've given themselves a real chance. The ball comes in, lovely little touch, and that is absolutely brilliant from Liam Dunn. Wasted a little bit more, few seconds. Plenty of men in the box here again for keeping. That's a great touch from Dunn. Superb play from Dunn, and a shot! And Caballero oh. gets his hands on it, and it almost crosses a line. Oh, it's Crossley again. <laughs> Look at them, they cannot believe they can't it. can't believe it. Two chances in a minute. In the dying seconds of this game, it would have brought Keepier level. That is it. Oh, <laughs> what a finish to this match. But it's Whitgift who walk away as victors. But Keepier school 
what a finish that was and so close to getting an equaliser two or three times in those final five minutes but it's Whitgift who did dominate in the first half and uh, possibly overall you feel they're the rightful winners of this match they were so dominant early on with me here is Colin Pates the manager of the Whitgift successful team the under 14s Colin, from a coaching point of view, that must have been a little bit of a nightmare because there was a lot of things going on on that pitch at different times and must have kept, I saw you and Steve Kemba were coming up, uh, up and down like yo-yos at times. Well, it never really went to, uh, to plan, to be honest with you. You know, we, we managed to get over the finish line, but it's not how we wanted to do it. I mean, fair play to, to the opposition. They were superb. They never gave up. I always felt if we didn't get that, that fourth goal, um, we were, we were going to you know, be in trouble eventually. <laughs> And keep, keep you, you've got to say. It's nice to see a support here for the team in yellow, by the way. Uh, you've got to say that keep you were superb and towards the end had a couple of chances that could so easily have gone in the back of the net. Like, you know, you, you do have to give them uh, credit for, for a great performance, don't you? Listen, all the time a game goes, you know, with, you know when it's 3 1 and it doesn't go to 4 1. Uh, you, the opposition always filled at the end with a chance, and, and that's what they done. They knew they were still in it. But concentrating on your lads, that was a superb performance. Um, you know, took little Thomas Blake got the man of the match, but John Scales up there said himself it could have easily gone to three or four of your guys who all looked superb. Yeah, I mean, we, we played better. Um, little Blakey, I don't think he's ever let us down, to be honest with you. He's, uh, he's very deceiving. The fly, we call him. <laughs> The little fly. All over the place, yeah, he's all over the place. That's his nickname, the fly. Well, look, you get back to your team. Thank you very much, Colin. It's been great to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you very much.